Hello guys, you're welcome again to another wonderful video. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to create an amazing logistic website with live tracking. But please, this video is strictly for educational purpose. For those of you who are looking for a template for your next project, I tell you this video will help you and this template will guide you. Okay, so having said that, let's begin this video. All right, so once we come over to this, now you can see this is for a um, logistic website or a courier, whichever one of them. But it has the live tracking, which I will be showing you shortly. Now look at this; it has all the amazing features. You can see all of that: weather insurance, fast delivery, 100% safe delivery. You have all of that. You have all of that here. All right. So you have all of that here. You can see. Now moving away from there, you have the about us page. All have already been edited for you. You can see the about us page. Okay. You can see that that is loading. You can see this is the about us page. All right. So you can see that. I see all of that good so now i will show you this you can see all of this now let me show you the the tracking side let me right let me show you the tracking side right click on the shipment tracking you can see that it also have um it also have what is called language translator you can see that there language translator now let me show you this is the tracking now just come over to this side just put the default one there all right so you can see that I just put the default one you can see the tracking Good, it's loading up. Then I'll also show you the admin. Show you the admin. You can see all of this. So you can see the tracking. This is the barcode, right? So you can see the destination. You can see the movement. You can see the movement the, in, in, the, in the map. You can see the movement currently in Moscow, Germany. You can see that. So this is the live map you are seeing on the on the on the on the map. You can see that there. Alright, so you have all of this in there. Then the tracking number, the package, and what have you. So it is really, really amazing for those of you out there looking for the template for your next project. So now that I've shown you this, now let me show you the admin. Let me show you the admin. All right, good. This is the admin, the admin side. All right, so come over to this side. You can see the admin. So from this admin, now you can see courier send. You can see manage courier. You can see support ticket. You can see report. You can see general settings. You can see um, logo. Logo and favicon and every other thing you are seeing there. You can see where it says general settings. You can change your logo here. You can see um sorry general settings where you can change the name. Alright, you can see general settings there. Okay, you can change the name. Alright, this is the color. You can also change the color. You can see email notification. You can set up the email notification. Alright. Alright, so this is the email notification. This is SMS verification. Alright, so you have all of that. You can you can see the currency, you can see the time zone, you can see the currency symbol. Currency symbol, sorry, the currency, and you can see the, the title, which you can also edit. You can see the color, you can also edit that. Then you can see the logo of Favicon, right? You can see the logo of Favicon, you can edit the logo, you can see the logo, you can edit all of them. Yeah, here's the Favicon, you can also edit that. Then you have all of that manage pages, all right? You can see manage sessions, you can see clear catch, all right? So you can come here and you can edit all, you can see the session, you can see the battles, the contact us, you can edit all of them from that is. I'm talking about all these pages we are seeing here, right? All these pages we are seeing here, the home, the about us, the, the blog, and everything. You can edit them from the admin. You can edit them. You can see the about us. You can see banner. You can see blog. You can see uh, breadcrumb. You can see client, client session, contact us. You can see all of that here, all right? You can see so many things. So everything is basically done from the admin, all right? From the admin. So now that I've shown you this, and I'll also show you the front end, and I'll also show you how the... The logistic works okay as for the image verification i told you you can edit that from you can edit that from general settings you can configure your email all right you can configure your email you can also do that from the you can also do that from the from the um admin that's the php admin then also note that this particular template i'm talking about works with 8.2 php version all right 8.2 php version so if you are using if you are uploading the file like i'm going to show you you need to use um you need to use version 8.2 php all right so now that i've showed you all of this how this particular template work so now let me show you how you can edit and configure this particular template it's very very easy for you to work with all right so now i'll go over to my c panel upload your file and show you the configuration all right all right welcome to my c panel so for this particular video i'll be using a subdomain but for you who will be doing this for your client in ensure to buy ensure to buy a domain all right from any of the web hosting company out there but if you have any challenge you can also reach out to me via the number showing 
description of this video i'll be glad to assist you in getting a reliable domain name and hosting for your project all right so coming down to this now just all right i've created my subdomain i'll just go to my file manager okay go to file manager okay good so this is file manager all right so just do that you can see that all right good so this is the file manager so here is the subdomain i created all right if i open this now public underscore html all right good so you see my subdomain here you can see the subdomain so if you open it now you can see the file here this is the file i've already uploaded if you want to upload just click on upload all right if you click on upload let me show you click on upload then click on select file once it's done uploading when you are uploading the file wait for it to turn green either it turns green or it turns red all right if it turns red it means that the network is bad but it's 100 percent complete but if it turns green it's 100% complete. Either it turns green or turn red. So just do that. So once you are done, just click on go back. You can see this go back here. So it will bring you to this part. All right, to bring you to this part. So next you are going to do is to is to delete. Right, let me remove that. Right, next you are going to do is to right click and extract. All right, you can see that. Right click and extract. Click on extract file. Right, good. You can see it's extracting. Why you are doing that? Remember, I told you before that it works with PHP version 8.2. Sorry, so you just come back to your search bar there, type it uh, PHP. You, you can either use select PHP version or you come to manage PHP multi PHP manager. Sorry, multi PHP manager. So once you do that, click on it. Okay, once you click on it, the domain you are buying should be. Can you see mine now? Is what 8.2. Right, so ensure just click on select the one you want to put to 8.2. Once you select like this, then come over to this pass and click on 8.2. Once you click on 8.2, then apply. After a while, it will come up to 8.2 like this. So that's what this particular template works with. So please be sure to, to do that. Okay, so while that file is done uploading, all right, next thing you are going to do is to come to your, is to still come to your, let me close this. So come to your cPanel again and create a database and create a database it's very easy to create a database come over to this side search for database wizard you can see the database wizard click on it right click on it. it's very easy so put in your database there you can see that should have swift bb then click on next right click on next step you can see that all right, so I can as well do that again. So you can, you can start to use the same name for all the, this you can see now the database name is this. So I'm still using it for user. Then I'll copy this, the whole of this as my, as my information, my password. So put it there, then put it there. Very vital, you can see that now. Very, very vital. So ensure to confirm, okay? Then I'll click on, I'll click on create user. Very, very easy. All right, so you can see that the file has been extracted. All right, close. They just reload it here. You can see that reload. So you can see that the file has been extracted. This is the file. So once you extract, open it. Okay, you can see all the files here. You can see all the files. Then right click on select all. Can you see the select all? Then click on move. Once you click on move, so I'm moving it to my subdomain. But for you, you can move it to public underscore HTML. But I'm just moving my own to subdomain. So to move, just remove all of this that is there. Remove it, remove it, remove it. Good. Then just click on move file. Is that easy? Right? Is that easy? So once you are done with that, you can see all your files here now. You can see all your file. So next is for you to check your database. Remember, we are creating database at that time. So this is my database name, and this is my database um, username. All right. So since they are all the same, plus the password, since they are all the same, all right. I'll just copy this. All right. So just copy. All right. So I'll just copy this. Good. Then I'll come to my. Let me close this. Close this. All right. Good. So since I've done that, so I'll just copy that username they come to this core core folder open it all right good another thing you should notice when you are extracting there is a setting here all right you can see settings click on it ensure click on it ensure that this file is uh, this part is is ticked which is which says show hidden files show hidden files just tick it so that this env file can display 
If not, it will not display. Please take note. Please take note. It's very, very important. Right? Right click on it and edit this EMV file. Alright, edit this EMV file. Good. So you can see there. So we are going to put your database name. You can see this database, database name, database, sorry, username and password. So this way I'm going to be putting that information. I just copied the other thing. That's this I'm talking about. I'm talking about this. Alright, I'll copy it. Then I'll come here. Alright, so you can see that I'll paste it there. Come to this route, remove it, paste it there. This password, ensure to also paste it there. Very simple. Very, very simple. You can see the way I did it now. Then save changes. Save changes. Then come back to where you have your privileges. You can see that then tick or just click on this box. Tick or then come down and click on next step. All right. You can see that it is very, very easy. It's very, very easy. No stress. Okay, good. We are done creating a database. We are done creating a database. So the next thing we are going to do quickly is to come to our cPanel again. All right, come to cPanel again, then search for PHP my admin, PHP my admin, sorry, my admin. All right, you can see that the PHP my admin, there is it. You can see that PHP my admin, click on it. All right, click on it, sorry. All right, good, click on it, that's PHP my admin. Okay, remember the name we created just now was, was SwiftBB, right? You can see there, this is it, SwiftBB. All right, so click on it. All right, good. Click on it. Then you will see import here. Click on import. Okay. Good. We are there. Then click on choose file. The database is there. All right, so I'll just go to my download. I'll see it in my download. This is my database here. Sorry. All right, so. As my, okay, good. So I'll come to this. You can see it inside this folder. Here's my database. All right, don't worry. You, I will show you how you can get access to this. So you can see that that's the database. So I'll click on open. Then you can see the logistic SQL. So I'll just click on import. Very, very easy. Very, very easy. Okay, so you can see that with this, we are gradually enjoying what we are doing. So once we are, once this SQL is imported, so we can go ahead, edit, and make sure. Whatever thing we have been doing is working perfectly. After which you can edit and configure and you are done with your project. All right. All right. As you can see, the file has been imported successfully. So what we'll do is let's check our website. All right. Let's check our website to see what we have done so far. So if you want to edit the admin logins, you can come over to this side here. You can see admin. All right. You can see the admin here. Click on it. So you can edit the admin. Remember the password is encrypted. So if I come here, click on edit here. Okay, so you can set a password here. This is your username. All right, this is your this username. So I will show you how you can log into the admin. This is your, your, your URL forward slash admin. All right, so you can come here and you can change this password. That's okay. All right. Then I sure to select encrypt. All right, you can see it here, encrypt. All right, so that's the password. Then there's the username that you click on. Click on go, okay. Click on go. That is it. So every other setting that you can do there, okay, you have other general settings. You can see general settings, right? Where you can change the name. You can see the name here. But remember, I showed you from the admin. From, remember, I showed you from the admin here. You can see, you can see you can do your general settings here very very easy without you struggling to go there, All right? But then you can get your, you can get your settings here. Okay, you can do some basic settings from this angle as well. Or it's much easier when you do it from here, right? When you do it from here, if you just come to general settings, okay. So you can see the, you can see the name, you can see the name, the currency, the color. You can set up the, you can see where it says enable email. You can disable email, all right. So you can do all of that from from the spot, all right. So you can see the support. You can see user. You can see email, all right. You can see courier and other other stuff. So this is basically how. To configure this website, all right? How to configure this website for your own purpose for your next project. So, hope you enjoyed this particular video that I've done for you on how you can use this amazing, amazing logistic, amazing logistic website like what you are seeing here. Okay, like what you are seeing here. So, if you enjoyed this video and you would like to have access to this particular template, all you need to do is to reach out to me via the number showing 
in the description of this video all right so don't forget to like share this video all right if you are not subscribed to the channel ensure to subscribe because we have amazing content